Have you ever wondered how the training of artificial intelligence with YouTube videos could change the landscape of our digital world? As we venture into the world of AI, ethical questions surrounding its training methods have become a hot topic. One such method involves the use of YouTube videos, a practice that, while innovative, raises significant concerns. Let's talk about privacy first. Every time you click on a YouTube video, you're sharing a piece of yourself, your likes, dislikes, and interests. Now imagine an AI learning from these videos, essentially learning about you. It's like a stranger peeking into your living room through a window you left open. Then, there's the issue of copyright. Who truly owns the content if it's being absorbed and replicated by an AI? Are creators losing their rights to their own work? It's a question that strikes at the very heart of creative ownership. Finally, we need to consider content manipulation. With AI's ability to learn and mimic human behavior, there's a risk of it being used to create deep fakes or spread misinformation, blurring the line between reality and fabrication. As we delve deeper into this topic, it's essential to understand the series of events that led up to YouTube's decision. The conflict between YouTube and OpenAI did not happen overnight. It's a culmination of many events and decisions. So let's take a stroll down memory lane to see how we arrived at this juncture. Our journey begins in the early 21st century when AI training with video content was in its infancy. Researchers and developers were just starting to understand the potential of artificial intelligence and how video could be used to train these fledgling systems. As we move further along the timeline, we see a significant increase in AI sophistication. The simple input-output models of the past evolved into complex systems capable of learning, adapting, and even creating content. This evolution didn't happen in a vacuum. It was driven by the rise of the internet and digital technologies, which provided a vast and diverse range of data for AI systems to learn from. At the same time, we also see a rise in AI usage. From virtual assistants in our smartphones to recommendation algorithms on our favorite streaming services, AI became an integral part of our daily lives. And with this increased usage came increased scrutiny and regulation. Which brings us to the most recent chapter in our story. YouTube, a platform that has been instrumental in the rise of AI, made a decision that sent ripples through the tech world. They claimed that OpenAI's training of their AI model, Sora, with YouTube videos would break the rules. This decision didn't come out of the blue. It was a response to growing concerns about privacy, copyright, and the ethical implications of AI training. And it raised important questions about the future of AI development and the role of digital platforms in shaping that future. With this context in mind, let's delve into the key points that have been discussed in this intriguing digital saga. YouTube's decision to deny OpenAI's use of its videos for AI training has raised several key points in the AI industry. This decision has not only sparked a debate about the ethical implications of AI development, but also raised questions about who owns the rights to digital content. Firstly, let's talk about AI development. The decision potentially restricts the growth of artificial intelligence. OpenAI's quest to train Sora using YouTube videos was aimed at improving the AI's understanding of human interactions. Restricting access to such a vast source of diverse content could slow down progress and limit the scope of AI's learning. Secondly, this decision might set a precedent for other platforms. If YouTube can say no to AI training with its content, so can other platforms. This could lead to a domino effect with more platforms restricting access. It could result in a more controlled and limited environment for AI training, which could potentially stifle innovation. Thirdly, the issue of digital rights ownership is brought into the spotlight. YouTube's decision implies that even though the content is publicly available, its usage for AI training infringes upon the rights of the content creators. This could lead to a broader discussion on the digital rights and privacy of individuals in the age of AI. Lastly, this decision has the potential to shape the future of AI. If AI's access to public data is limited, we might see a shift towards more proprietary data sources or even a push towards creating AI-specific content. This could dramatically alter the AI landscape. As we continue to navigate the digital age, these issues will undoubtedly continue to evolve, shaping our relationship with technology and, ultimately, with each other. It's a complex and fascinating journey, and we're all a part of it. So let's keep the conversation going because the future of AI, and by extension our future, depends on it.